Hello, I'm Adrian and welcome to Fight Scene Breakdown. Today we're taking a look at the bar fight from Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher reluctantly accepts a good old bar fight, repeatedly warning them if they truly want this as he knows very well what the outcome of the fight will be. This is an extremely quick but really well shot and edited fight sequence. A simple medium frames this awesome reverse elbow, the wide sits up his remaining enemies and a subsequent medium pans to follow the action. In other words, the camera is far when it needs to be and close when it needs to be. The camera movements and cuts complement the action and try not to interfere with it. This is probably one of the more realistic fight scenes on film. I say realistic because when you land a critical hit on someone, be it a great kick or an elbow or even a punch, the fight is typically over. We aren't capable of sustaining multiple hits and just shrugging it off as movies have led us to believe. And that is what this fight is about, taking out your attackers in one or two hits. In this short sequence we are treated to seeing the same self-defense system we covered earlier with Batman vs Bane, the KC fighting method. It's based on being brutal, quick and effective and actually holds plenty of similarities with Krav Maga. Reacher ducks the incoming cross and rolls back onto his attacker with a reverse elbow. Strangely enough, this exact same move is seen in Overwatch's animated trailer. The hit is brutal brutal, immediately causing the man to collapse on the floor, but Reacher decides to finish him off with a swift kick to the groin. He deals with the next attacker by blocking his left hook. After going in for a further strike, he finishes him off with a swift elbow and rolls out to his next attacker with a side elbow. He blocks his next attacker with a similar technique, but while holding his neck to go in for inevitable knee strikes, he is punched from behind. So he therefore swings the body he has in his grasp towards the other guy. Notice how he blocks this guy in the exact same way as before? But this time, instead of punching his arm again, he goes in for a low hammer strike to the man's knee, in a similar way to how Bane opted to punch Batman's knee. The knee breaks and Reacher trips him to the floor. For the final guy, he catches his roundhouse kick and just like Batman in the Hugo Strange trailer, goes for the man's groin. But instead of kicking it, he simply uppercuts the man. The two guys still look like they want to fight, so he finishes the man off by kicking him to the ground. The cops arrive and the others run away. Join my Patreon to get access to cool behind the scenes stuff and a bunch of other rewards. What did you guys think of the fight? Which fight would you like me to analyze next? Subscribe and you can follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and brand new Facebook fan page Godzilla Rex. See you next time.